Uh, oh, I could press the button. I'm not sure why, but that works. <laughs> All right, maybe some permissions were pulled off. I don't know about. Okay, never mind. But thank you, Richard, for um, the reminder. So yeah, um, Johanna, can you please share the updates from the Zeek LT side of the project? Oh yeah, sure. Uh, it's kind of fun that I get to go first because I get to say the fun thing. So as you all know, um, might have heard from um, our social media accounts or from anywhere, we are having a community survey that is running. Um, and it would be really great if all of you that haven't filled it out yet could go and fill it out. It's under seek.org slash survey, and you can just go there and fill it out. Um, and we are basically trying to get feedback about um, high level statistics of who is using seek, how you're using seek and stuff like that. And we are going to use that. We are potentially going to have more um, surveys in the future and we are kind of want to see what the current state of the community is. And um, the Seek LT essentially spent the last month putting together the survey. Um, like there was a lot of discussion about the individual survey questions and where we advertise the survey and how we do the survey. And um, yep, that's kind of what the Seek LT has been doing since the last time um, that we had this meeting. So um, if you haven't filled out the survey yet, um, fill out the survey. If you know anyone who should fill out the survey, send the survey link to them or let us know who they are so that we can send the survey link to them. We would be super thankful about that. And um, if anyone has any questions about this um, or about what the LT is doing, please let me know. And to also highlight this again, um, if you're interested in the work of the SEEK leadership team, the SEEK leadership team meeting notes are published after each meeting. You can uh, find the link to the notes under the leadership team page on the SEEK.org webpage. Cool. Uh, I think that's the part uh, of the update from Johanna's side. Are there any questions regarding the updates that she shared? All right. If not, then we can move along. And um, Christian, you're up next. Do you want to share any updates from the um, Zeek open source project technical side of the business? Yeah, sure. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Fatima. So it's it's busy days for us and particularly Tim, <laughs> because we have uh, three releases about to go out. So there will be uh, a 5.06 and a 5.1.2 shortly. Those are essentially security fix and bug fix releases. Um, and then 5.2 is about to get branched. So that's, of course, our new main release. Um, so that will, as usual, sort of start with a release candidate that our testing teams can can chew on and so forth. Uh, if you're interested in joining the testing subcommittee, then please uh, speak up, uh, uh, contact us. Uh, we're always looking for more testers. Um, and then hopefully if that goes reasonably well, then um, that release will go out shortly after within, you know, no more than a few weeks, fingers crossed. Um, other than that, I think... Yeah, I think that's sort of all I have, but those are those are keeping us on our toes right now. Thank you. 5.0.6 and 5.1.2 are actually out as of about 15 <laughs> minutes ago. So. I was this, is, this is this is a pattern that Tim and I have. Whenever I mention something, Tim chimes in and goes like, oh, I've already done that. So thank you, Tim. This is awesome. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, I love it. This is really great. Cool. Are there any questions for Christian? I was just going to move ahead to move ahead and go for um, Richard, but sorry, I didn't ask if there are any questions on the technical side that Christian shared. Cool. All right. So Richard, um, are there anything that uh, are there any things that you would like to share on the communications and social media side of the? Yes. Project? So I think what really prompts Tim to put out a release is publishing the newsletter. Because this is, I think, the second or third time where I've published the newsletter, and then the next day there's a new release. So that's my theory, anyways. But there is a new newsletter came out yesterday. It's published on our discourse site, but I put links to it from everywhere where we're present. So please check that out. And we've also hit uh, over 4,000 subscribers on YouTube, which is great. So I never say like and subscribe or do any of that kind of stuff, but please, if you're not already subscribed to our YouTube channel, do that. 
We're also getting fairly close to being able to monetize the videos, which you might think, well, that's not like, what do I care about that? But uh, like our project has bills, like we have to pay for our AWS hosting and things like that. So I see the bills come in periodically. So it would be neat if we could defray some of those bills by, you know, if we were to get a few pennies from YouTube monetization. I don't know. This is, I've never been involved with anything, you know, any anything that's made money off of YouTube. So it's kind of an experiment to see what happens with that. But uh, yeah, go ahead and check out our videos and um, let us know what you think about them. I monitor the comments and try to respond. It's another place where people can interact. Um, although our primary places are generally discourse and Slack. And both of those have been pretty active and we seem to be getting a decent number of new people asking questions. And thank you to all the project members who have been uh, answering questions, some of which are fairly complicated and take like testing on their side, you know, trying to figure out why something isn't compiling or why AF packets not working or, or whatever it is. So the best places to, to generally ask a question and get an answer continue to be our Slack and our discourse. And that's all from the communication side. Perfect. Um, thanks, Richard. Are there any questions for Richard? All right, then I can move along. Um, I have just a quick update on um, the training subgroup. So we have restarted to think about how we can format the trainings better in near future so that we can have more people attended. And uh, we are just being we are in the state of brainstorming right now. And one of the ideas we were exploring is maybe this it is worth to go out in different conferences and give short Zeek trainings. Like B-Sides is one of the conferences where we used to do it uh, in, in Delaware chapter, but we are exploring that if we can go to the uh, San Francisco and another few other um, in-person events of B-Sides. And then they have a whole day uh, where they invite the uh, external people to come and give the trainings. So we are exploring that area of if it's worth it and if we can approach more people and community, community uh, by being part of different conferences and just going there and giving short talks about Zeek and how to use Zeek. And uh, towards that effort, we actually have uh, some news that Christian is going to talk about Zeek in coming up um, scale conference. Uh, Don flagged the conference uh, detail link in the chat. And it is like the Southern California Linux Expo, and it's going to happen in March. So um, Christian will be talking about um, Zeek in that conference. That's one of the coming up um, talks uh, as part of the exploration of going to different conferences and talking about Zeek. So uh, with that, uh, are there any questions for the training subgroup site? Alrighty, then moving along, I would like to um, ask Kelly if she would like to share updates on what's going on with the survey side and the uh, open source Zeek project side. Yeah, I think uh, Johanna did a great job plugging our survey. So please just have folks um, respond to it. It'd be really wonderful to hear from you. Um, and I think the rest of the team handled all the updates just perfectly. So thanks everybody. Perfect. Thanks, Kelly. Are there any questions overall in general for um, anyone of us on the call right now? Helen, uh, sorry. Oh, I, got, I got one. Um, as always, we're always looking for test environments. If you have a spare machine sitting on uh, network traffic that you don't mind running pre-release versions or even released versions of Zeek on they can do you know just long running tests um higher bandwidth is obviously better as usual uh let us know uh there's a channel in slack we can get you invited into that does more of that stuff that's it Thanks, Tim. And even if um, you're interested in being part of any of the um, sub projects or subgroups and you don't know where to start, uh, we have all the uh, communication and social media channels on the Zeek.org website as well. So you can just start with one of those and 
we have a lot of different channels on Slack. So people will guide you to the right uh, path, even if you don't know exactly where to post. So. And Christian just posted the um, survey link on chat, just in case if people want a shortcut to finding that link. So thanks, Christian. Anything else people would like to discuss, talk about? Um, all right, if there is nothing else, then we can adjourn the meeting today. So thank you folks for joining the meeting and um, for the feedback. Really appreciate it and looking forward to talking to you all next month. So thanks, everyone, and have a good day. Thanks, all. Thanks. Bye.